We are already in second round action at this year's Winston-Salem Open. Many of the top players in the world are competing to play in Saturday's championship matches. A key to any player's success, their tennis racket and how it's prepared for each match. And that's where this group comes into play. David and Paul Yamani and Justin Garcia, they string all the rackets for each player at the tournament. So that could be up to 125 total per day between them. First couple of days of main draw are the busiest because it's the most number of matches. We try to get here early in the morning because a lot of uh, players now are starting to ask for their rackets strung in the morning, so they're even a little fresher. They get them done every day, but some want them done super fresh, so we usually have a couple dozen rackets due in the morning to knock those out. We're just kind of doing rackets all day for soon, for tomorrow, for whatnot, and it's a lot of balancing and managing, but typically everybody gets their rackets when they need it and uh, keep everyone as happy as we can. It's something that is so behind the scenes that no one really thinks about, but it's such an integral part. What we say is it's the only part of the racket that touches the ball. It's um, arguably the most important part and that's what we're here for. The joke we have is if you don't hear about us, that's usually a good thing because when you do hear about us, it's usually a uh, problem happened. These guys go to tournaments all over the world and they show up to a tournament every week not really knowing what they're going to get and so for them as their livelihood, want to be able to provide them the top quality. All of us have strung slams and masters and, and so they really enjoy when they come here being comfortable and seeing familiar faces. They walk in and they recognize us and you can just tell they're like relieved and happy that like like, oh, this is going to be a good week. And while Paul and David handle the stringing side of things, Sandy and Mark take care of the check-in and prep work. They're actually all part of one family. Uh -huh. And so it allows the whole family to help prep for the tour. I love that. Listen, you know you're the truth when you're sitting in the interview. You're working on the racket, doing the interview at the same time and talking and yes. looking at the camera. But I, he took the words right out of my mouth. This is something that's so behind the scenes. You don't really honestly think about this. And I'm glad we're shedding light to see all of the jazz and things that go behind the scenes when it comes to building a racket. I didn't know that happened. I thought all the players just bring rackets. Right. And that's what I would think. But I guess these guys would, but you know, it's that's as fresh as you can get it, right? It's a freshly that's strung right. racket and it hadn't been used and worn. And <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I know. And to have them do rackets for all of these, yeah, like I, I, I'm with you where I would have thought that the player themselves has their own racket mm -hmm. and they are in charge of getting it mm -hmm. restrung or anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, they're doing a good job. That's cool. Better yeah. than we could do it. <laughs>